Hello and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs Trailer Park 2-Pack made by Plastic Meatball and released by Fright Rags. Uh, these are two figures of Bob and Darcy that are three and three quarter inch figures and it also includes a bottle of Nog and Ernie the Lizard and uh, this was I felt like it was supposed to be released for Christmas but it kind of got delayed um, so obviously like this is the Christmas themed uh, collector's box and it has like a little backdrop on there and the art was done by Justin Osborne Osborne and uh, I was really looking forward to this I feel like it kind of got a little bit late but uh, still have it and I think it's super awesome I'm not sure if these are available still on Fright Rags but if they are and you're a fan of the last drive-in I would jump in on this as soon as you can so let's go ahead and spin this around and take a closer look Here they are out of the packaging and again uh, real quick on the packaging uh, it does come with a cool little backdrop um, to kind of set them in their little Christmas scene which I always like the inclusion of let's start with Joe Bob himself and he does uh, come with a fabric jacket um, which to me like I don't know if is, nece is really necessary um, I'm not really sure that like adds anything for me. I feel like that could have just been a sculpted piece, but uh, it, they may have done it in fabric just because of the pattern on here would have been hard to duplicate uh, paint wise. Um, this is a, again, a three and three quarter inch figure. They're typically known for uh, just five points articulation. So we have the head, Full rotation on the head and then same with the arms although he's limited by the jacket but you could take the jacket off and then uh, of course the hips so they're you know rather simple figures but that is just the name of the game on three and three quarter inch and that kind of gives them their charm uh, most people just see them uh, for collecting and don't really like play with them and pose them so much now he does have the kung fu beer grip and uh, here is his little eggnog bottle and let's see if we can get that to fit in there hopefully so nice so he's holding his little nog he's ready to kick back and watch a horror movie and chill Let's look at Ernie the Lizard real quick. Get him in focus for you guys. Would be pretty helpful, right? He's just not wanting to focus. But the Lizard's actually done up pretty well. Good lord, camera. Alright, there we go. He's got his little hat on. But uh, the sculpt on the Lizard's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty cool. I like him. Little Ernie. And then finally we have Darcy, the male girl. And uh, she has a pretty nice sculpt. Uh, her head does not move, at least on my figure. Although with her long hair, uh, they may have just glued her in place because you wouldn't get much rotation out of the head anyway. She does have the other four points of articulation though arms or shoulders and then the hips but uh, overall a nice sculpt for her and uh, really just a cool looking set all right guys so that's about all there is to go over on this set I absolutely love it uh, I love watching the last drive-in um, it's just a great series on Shudder if you haven't uh, checked it out then I definitely recommend um, you watching a few episodes it's just a real good time and it's a throwback to the 90s uh, uh, when you know, Joe Rob Briggs was in his heyday and it's just 
so awesome. I love watching these shows and uh, they're hilarious and they usually have like guests on that were involved in the movie that they happen to be showing in, in some capacity and I just really really like it and Darcy is also hilarious. Uh, and I love that companies like Fright Rags do these figure sets. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, Fright Rags has also done figures for like Night of the Living Dead and things like that. Um, so I really like it when these t-shirt companies like expand out and work with like other companies like Plastic Meatball who actually made the figures uh, and do releases like that. this for us horror fans. Because um, again, like as a kid, I would never imagine being able to get figures of Joe Bob or whatever. Like, um, and it's really, really cool that these companies are able to take, you know, do small runs on things like this and take the risk and then um, have it, you know, pay off by us collectors, you know, actually wanting to buy this kind of thing because, I mean, you would never think as a kid, you know, when I was watching Joe Bob or whatever, like that this would be like a thing. And I absolutely love it. So I am all for it. Again, I have always been into three three quarter uh, figures. It started out with you know, my Star Wars passion as a young child, and uh, I have just kind of stuck to it. Um, I, I typically don't do box sets. You don't really see too many three and three quarter inch box sets, but um, there are companies like Reaction that have done them in the past, and some other ones too. But uh, typically, they're known for just like a really really cool like card artwork and you don't really take them out and play with them. Um, the, kind of, the, the kind of misses the point to them, but um, it is kind of nice to get them out and kind of mess with them a little bit. And these are sculpted really well, and I really like the paint apps on it too. As always, feel free to leave me questions or comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. Again, I am not sure if these are in stock. Uh, this was a pre-order, uh, so they may have already sold out, but uh, you know, follow companies like Fright Rags or whatever if they're not in stock, because they, do, they will do more Joe Bob figures in the future, I'm sure, because I have probably three or four uh, of, the, of these figure releases so far. And uh, I will leave you with a 360 view of the set. I will say that Darcy doesn't want to stand up too well on her own, although Joe Bob with his big boots seems pretty stable. Um, so we'll see if I can get them to spin around without Darcy falling over. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later.